Hmm. I guess that'll work. That will work. If you guys enjoy this video, man, you know, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, hey, you can always thumb down it. You know what I'm saying? It's moving day, y'all. I am moving into a new truck. I will come back to you and let you know why I am moving into a new truck. See you in a minute. Good to go. Let's get these bastards. Oh, man. Well, I was up in Minnesota a couple of days ago. And um, while I was up there, you know, I was doing pretty good. Pretty good. You know. But unfortunately, my truck had a little accident. Stuff happens in in trucking, you know. Safety is definitely a key in 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 trucking. A lot of a lot of old school drivers, a lot of, a lot of drivers period will say, "Oh, well that's, you know, that's all part of the game. That's trucking. That's 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 what happens." But me you know, I, I'm a strickler for trying to keep things clean. You know, let me let me explain why. I came from a background of notorious drivers. You know what I'm saying? When I was coming up, when I was young, speeding, running stop signs, running red light. You know how we do when we come up on a yellow light. We 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 usually take it, and then when we get pulled over, we be like, "No, the light was yellow, officer." That was in my young year. As I got older, taking care of my license was was a little bit more of a priority. You know what I'm saying? Because I like drive. Every chance I get to drive my mom's car back in the day, I took it. Keeping up with my license was a little bit, was a little bit more important than anything else. Cause I didn't want to lose them. I take that same attitude while I'm driving a semi truck. My CDLs is my livelihood. Without them, I don't have a livelihood. You know what I'm saying? Stay in focus of keeping your license while you're driving, you know, is it's important. My truck came into contact with a with an object and uh tore off the front fender and uh took out the light. So I had to make my way from Minnesota all the way up here to Ohio to move into my new truck. I have made it. It is about one o'clock in the morning right now. About to go to sleep right quick. It's moving day! Yes, yes, yes. What's up, y'all? It is moving day. One thing I hate about moving day is a lot of stuff that you accumulate in the truck when you don't think that you have that much stuff in here. I have finished moving into my new truck and I also have a pre-plan. So it's a pre-loaded trailer. So nine times out of 10, this load should be ready by the time I get there. What I'm gonna do is call them first, and then I wanna find out whether or not if it's there, because if it's there, that means I will have to probably drive this load overnight in order to get this load on my for Monday hmm. I gotta see how this is gonna how this is gonna play out I have finally moved into my new truck after the little incident that I had a couple of days ago J&R Shugel 
put me in a new truck so thank you to my fleet manager for getting me a uh, new truck you know things happens out here that was a lesson one and only lesson that uh that's that's gonna be learned now anything can happen while while driving anything can happen you know but you just got to make sure that you're all right you know in the process so but take you guys on a little tour So that was a little bit of a little bit of a tour of the truck. You know, you guys uh, wanted to know what the truck looked like on the inside. The more that I'm driving the internationals, the more and more that I like. Like I said, guys, you know this. You know, stuff happens. The company will look out for you. You know, the company will definitely look out for you. You just gotta make sure you. You just gotta make sure you do things the right way. Don't don't do things the messed up way. Because if you do things the messed up way, it's all gonna get discombobulated and it's not gonna work out. It's just not gonna work out. You do things the right way, make sure everything is on point, then you should be you, you should be alright with uh you should be alright with your company that you're working with. So far, the company that I'm working with, JR Schugel, you know. I got no complaints. I got no complaints. They they treat me well. They treat you like family. Um, they treat their drivers with respect. And that's all I can ask for in a company. All right, well, that's it, y'all. That's it. It's always good to call um, the places where you go going to the shipper. It's always good to call to see if the trailer is loaded or not. If they need a trailer for the load, so yeah, just got finished calling them up, and uh, they telling me that they need a trailer for the load. I am on my way to go and pick up the, I mean, go and pick up the load, and then I'll be on my way out to Wisconsin. About to head over there right quick and uh, pick up this load. Let's go. Super shout out to Oasis, the goddess. See, I told you I would get you in on one of my videos, girl. Thanks for the conversation yesterday. You know, we chop it up real big. Give a shout out to my man, Diallo. Diallo, if I pronounce your name wrong, dude, let me know in the comments that I messed up, dude. Meeting you today was such a blessing, man. And, and we, we chopped it up big time, man. So thanks for the support. I really do appreciate it. Good talking to you today, man. We, we're going to meet up again. I got you. On your um, on your test this coming Monday, man, you're gonna ace it. So I want to see you up out here, G.
Shout out to the Columbus shop, man. These boys over here got your boy together. I mean, these guys, what can I say? Thank you. Thank you very much for getting me together, Columbus shop. You guys did the damn thing for me. All right, so that's it, man. Everybody else, you know, y'all like the video, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, you know, subscribe.